Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing Maokai mid lane versus a Mal versus a Yasuo. We're not playing versus ourselves today. Um <laughs> so anyways, we're playing on the PBE because they did a rework to Maokai where they basically gave a bunch of quality of life stuff to his kit. I'll try to go over all of it very quickly, and also you'll understand why I'm playing full AP because it sounded like fun. Uh Firstly, his passive now works off of jungle creeps for uh, lowering the cooldowns. That just makes it so he can jungle a bit better, but we're, it's not going to affect us. His Q now has percent damage. As you can see, 2%. That didn't exist beforehand, so now we have a little bit better dueling power versus uh, tankier targets. And then our E no longer gives percent damage on um, inside of empowered brushes. So beforehand, that's not how it would work. It would actually... Um, well, what they did was they removed the empower damage from his sapling, and they turned it into, uh, I guess, onto his E, or onto his Q. Sorry, gosh, I just messed it up really hard. Anyways, uh, they shifted the max percent from the sapling onto his Q, but then they made it so his sapling has really good AP ratio. So his AP ratio on his uh, sapling is actually... 70% now, so that means that if we get a lot of AP, it's going to hit hard. But not only that, but it also has HP scaling, and also the sapling lasts longer depending on how much HP you have. So, we do want to go full AP, but we do want to make it so our saplings last longer, and also we double dip into having AP and HP to increase the damage of that sapling. So, we're going to be going for like Night Harvester, uh, Shadow Flame. Um, demonic embrace because all of those things give HP and AP so we'll be double dipping into those I'll try to knock this guy towards him but honestly Maokai is like not really the best at uh, setting up ganks besides that oh maybe yeah he's dead no you're gonna die too but we did get him so thank you for the help <laughs> oh okay i got hit by a random lilia ball there Went a little bowling okay so anyways uh other things that they uh did and this is a huge one they increased the speed of maokai ultimate um if you have never seen a maokai before and i'm sure that plenty of people have never seen a maokai before because of how underplayed he is basically his ultimate is so damn slow to the point that it's probably one of the worst ultimates there is because it just it's supposed to be very powerful as a long range engage tool but it's so slow most people just outrun it so what they did was they did increase it so it is much faster now so it's way easier to actually chase people down uh for runes this game i am going snowballing runes plus scaling just in case the game hopefully lasts long because we are trying to just make it so our saplings hit really damn hard. Now, we're going to be going to Q-Max first, because it does give better dueling power than saplings, because we don't have brushes to work off of. Uh, we're going to be doing that, you know, once the laning phase ends, and people actually get into, uh, like, dragon fights and stuff. Uh, another thing that they did was lower the mana cost of sapling, and made it deal more base damage, so it is pretty strong right now. I'll knock this guy... No, it's not going to work. Well, we're going to get a little bit of damage off. I'm going to throw a sapling and then back away. Oh. Nice. 71 damage. Level 1 sapling. Yeah, but uh, sapling across the board got buffed in base damage. So, uh, actually, it hurts pretty bad now. Even if it's not empowered, it hurts pretty bad. Let me just do a little bit of poke on this guy. Look at the little sapling chase him down. <laughs> If I can hit him with maybe another snare, I can just kill him with Q here. Because my Q actually deals quite a bit. It deals uh, 180 plus almost 3% of max HP. And of course my W deals a little bit as well, so. Oh, I'm hit. Let's Q hit her to slow her down so she can't chase me down. I really want to shove in this wave though. Are you going to try to stop me? I'm almost level 6, believe it or not. Like, one creep would give me it. So I'm going to try to hit her and the creep at the same time to level myself up. I'm not going to be able to do anything because also that red buff. That red buff is an auto attack, or almost two auto attacks. So I kind of played over aggressive, but I'm okay with losing a game early game because recently my Maokai games have been us stomping 20 minutes. And I'm not trying to showcase Maokai at a... Like... 
having two items. It's always more fun seeing a champion normally be, like, nearly full build. Of course, it's going to be much harder to play now, but I'll be all right. Uh, your Maokai W, by the way, does make you untargetable, so I actually could go underneath crowd control like his NATO there. Um, kind of important to use that. It's so basically, imagine it as a Zhonya's. Uh, you can literally use it to dodge underneath crowd control. Okay, this is a huge play for us. There's potential that we could get a massive ultimate off. Also, Lilia might rotate into us as well. Okay, that person's just dead, so I'm just going to leave her. I'm just going to wait for this person's thing to expire. Just going to knock that person backwards, then go for this person instead. Nice. Huge play. Now, notice how I just threw my sapling into the brush there to make it empowered. Doesn't matter anymore. I shouldn't have even done it. Uh, your sapling no longer applies the bonus explosion damage when you make them big from putting them inside of brushes. So... Don't do that anymore. I just did it. It doesn't work on minions anymore that way, so... It's kind of a small thing that a lot of people, uh... Did in the past. So... Okay, cool. We have Sword Boots, plus we are building Night Harvester. We're going for Night Harvester because it gives HP. All of the mana items for AP don't give HP, so... We're trying to double dip, remember, to make our, uh, saplings last longer and deal more damage. The issue is we are going to be mana hungry, so hopefully we can get blue buff. I, I'm really wanting blue this game. Now we have three points into our Q already, so now we can do points into our E to start getting into the... Uh... Dude, wait, I can maybe come now. That guy looks maybe okay. You're fighting, that kind of blows for me. I do like kills. Yes, indeed. Just knock him into my empowered one. I'm sad that I didn't get the shutdown, but it is what it is. So I threw the sapling into the brush and immediately flashed W to keep him in place because it doesn't immediately explode. It kind of needs to power up like it's an anime character. So it takes time like doing its monologue inside the brush before it actually hits anybody. So we need to keep him locked down so he has to listen to it before uh, it can actually attack. Try to get all these. Yeah, but that would have actually made it so we were like really far ahead of everybody else. So I wish I had it, but it's all right. Still really good for my team. Let's see if we can maybe shove in one more wave here and then rotate bot. We one-shot the wave with just one sapling and one Q. Honestly, not that... Doesn't even cost that much mana, it's just that we have a small mana pool. But we can run down and look for a nice, uh, long ultimate on them. Hmm? You know what? If it didn't have the center already taken by Morgana, I probably could have done it. I should have probably waited until Morgana died before using it, and then I could have done it, and then it would chase her down much faster. Trust me, if you think it's slow, if you've never seen Maokai before, you have no idea how slow it was before this change. By the way, it, it was so damn slow. We can snare him and then knock him backwards. He's dead. Nice. No, don't take my wave, please. You got the kill. Okay, cool. Gonna hit mid tower here because uh, he is dead. We have free time to do it. Also, we do have Rift Herald, so we might be able to take the whole entire tower here. Oh, that didn't hit me. Nice. You know what? Can we dive? I'm just gonna Q her. I'm just gonna tank for my teammate here. There's no reason to stop tanking if she's not committing to fight me. Uh, kind of important for dives. If you're uh, full HP... Even if I'm playing Zoe or something and I do the first hit, don't leave tower if they're not even going for you. You saw how far away she was. She was definitely going for Viego. 
if I leave tower, there's a chance my teammate just dies. Because maybe he gets slept under tower, and then the tower shoots him like three more times or something. So, you want to not leave tower aggro if you're not in danger. You can literally tank it until you're almost dead, and then leave. Anyways, we have our Night Harvester. I'm strong. Been part of nine kills this game. We're big. The The bad news is that people are going to be building Magic Resist because we do have a bit of, like, AP on the team. Like, Varus does some AP damage. Udyr does some AP damage. Merc Treads is valuable for them, so... That will, like, lower our damage a bit. And then if I want to go Void Staff, that doesn't have health on it. So, that kind of sucks because... I wanted health on every item, but... Our saplings now last 40 seconds because we have our Night Harvester, Dorans, and Dark Seal that all give a little bit of HP, so. In fact, if you go full tank build, I did this in practice tool, uh, full tank build gives you like 100 second saplings. You can have down a lot. And remember, your sapling damage is also based off of My sapling kills that guy, right? Oh, it did! <laughs> oh my god, that was kind of sick. I threw the sapling at him and then just went back onto the Lilia. Two for one combo. Very nice. And now we'll just go back to doing these plates. Wow, a Maokai play? Who would have thought that you could ever be excited while playing Maokai? No way. Another point into our sapling here. Look how much damage it does. The minions. That's, like, not that bad. We can almost one-shot. It's not even level 5 yet. We still need another one. As you can see, the damage goes from 255 to 315. It's absolutely humongous. And then now we can build Magi's as well. So sell our potion. Let's build, uh, like, a Shadow Flame or a Night Harvester or... A, what? I already have Night Harvester. Or, a uh, Horizon Focus, right? Could build a lot of different items here. Even Medjay's gives a little bit of HP, by the way, if you didn't know. Might as well build it that because we already have 10 stack. Whenever I have 10 stack Medjay's, or I mean Dark Seal, that's normally when I buy it. These guys might die here. That's wonderful because it makes it so they might not FF, you know? I'm not trying to showcase two item Maokai. I'm trying to showcase like four to five items. Whoa, look at our damage actually. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this because honestly, we're kind of smurfing it right now. Okay, check this out. I'm going to run away and then turn around and use this here. I put a sapling in the brush. If he takes it, it's not even that bad for us, I think. Okay, I died and I, I did give some of my uh, shutdowns. Because that was worth a lot, right? I was only bonus bounty 150. Ow. Ow. Anyways, we're back to 10 stack because we got a lot of assists there, right? But also, I had the sapling down, so when uh, the Yasuo went on me, the sapling hit Morgana and I think him. And it hits hard. It hits for 550 right now. One sapling. <laughs> 550 is quite a bit. Not only that, but it's on a only 7 second cooldown. We can throw and have like 6 out at a time inside of different brushes. And if anybody runs into them, it's going to hurt really damn bad. During late game, it's going to hit for like probably 800 to 900. Just throw down these. Basically, it's it's like a Teemo Shroom, but deals more. Teemo Shroom honestly has, I think, a worse AP ratio than Maokai and worse base damage as well. And also, this is on a lower cooldown. Of course, Teemo Shroom is stealthed, and this is not, but it has its uh, strength. It's not like Teemo Shrooms are running after people. At least, I don't think so. So, I guess what we can do at this point is just start throwing saplings everywhere and sweeping. And seeing if anybody ever walks in. This is when the mana is going to really start hitting us hard. I really want to roam on these guys. They play aggressive all the time, so they're really opening themselves up to being ganked 
There's a fight happening top. I am unsure if I even want to rotate it. Okay, they won on their own. Nice. Okay, we'll just go bot then. I mean, we have free time. Maokai is actually surprisingly fast. Actually, that's probably because of my Magi's. Can I even help with this? Or are they just gone? If I use my ultimate, the thing is she has black shield, so I just think it's not even worth doing it. Now I can use this to cut them. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> it, it actually deals decent damage and the ramp up is already so fast. The reason for Dark Harvest as well is because, like, they're low, this hits hard, and then it procs Dark Harvest and kills somebody, and then it comes back up so I can proc it again. I think it's pretty good for champions like Maokai. Your kit's very good at finishing people off, and then you have to, like, I guess, redo everything for another target. You're not, like, a bursty champion, I guess. Let's just throw a sapling into this brush and just see if he walks in. We need to have enough mana for that. Jeez, that did some damage, actually. If only I had a little bit more mana. Okay, the sapling will hit this Morgana as well, so that did about 600 damage to her. I'm once again out of mana, so I will uh, give this guy some vision with the Scrying Orb in the meantime. And then I will cheer from the sidelines as I uh, watch him fight. Diegoing. Oh, wait, 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 wait! You can't attack this. What? I'm not even fighting. Don't attack the person in the stands, man. You know, I might be able to beat this guy. Let's just start throwing these out. Oh, this might kill her. I'm just going to leave it. The fade away. I think that she just tanked it, man. God damn it. I'm pretty sure if Morgana wasn't there, I doubt she could have outrun that. I'm pretty sure it would have caught her. So I'm kind of sad about it. Good luck, Diego. You can kill him, I'm sure. You're strong. We have our next item. I'm happy. Alright, so this item, right? It converts bonus HP into AP. It's not that insane. It, right now it's converting 17, so we ha get 77 AP instead of uh, 60. But we made it so now, once again, the sapling now lasts for 51 seconds inside of a brush. Uh, in Outside of a brush, it still only lasts for 30. But we're up to 750 damage. 750 damage, plus also, like, we have Night Harvester proc, plus also... It Isn't he just dead? Yeah. See you later, dude. I do have ultimate, but once again, it's a Morgana, so... Like, she can just black shield herself, and it would just be a complete waste of time. Oh, he's gonna run into my sapling. Not bad damage, considering this guy has a lot of magic resist. It would only take, like, two more saplings for me to kill him with my other abilities. The ultimate goal would be one-shotting somebody with a sapling, but I really doubt that's going to happen. He's going to kill that guy. I have a normal sapling running. I can just throw this out. It's not going to do anything, but... Get him! Uh, I'm going to just back. I literally have no mana, so even though we can dive this very easily... You know what? I'll give you a sapling. This will be my contribution. Here. <laughs> there you guys go. I mean, it did 500 damage, bro. Not bad. We take those.
Not bad, not bad. Alright, next item could be Shadow Flame. That gives us pen. It could be uh Horizon Focus increases damage by 10%, and this already deals a good amount, so that's always pretty good. But also it procs on slows, and your abilities do slow. Um all of them really slow or crowd control. Looks like my team overextended a little bit and threw. Which is good. <laughs> In this case it's good. Uh, getting this... This guy is going to be way too hard. Hello. You know what? Maybe I can fight you pretty easily. <laughs> he was just tanking the tower going for it. But, of course, he wasn't tanking at the start because he did use his ultimate to, like, um, turn it off for a second. But after the power was restored... Plus, also, he just full tanked my entire combo. Like, my ultimate right now deals almost 600 damage. My Q... The Q uh, percent damage doesn't scale. doesn't have AP scaling. Um, it just does a base amount, so... It's honestly not that insane. Throw saplings at them, even though it's not inside of a brush. Honestly, it will probably still hit pretty damn hard. I did 600. Not bad. What's good about being ahead is you can brush camp with these saplings, but the bad news is that people sometimes won't face check them. Like, the upside of being behind is people will always be going into your jungle and walking to brushes. But then the downside of that is that you're probably behind them, so... Like, uh, it's more difficult to kill them. <laughs> They're trying to get rid of my saplings. Stop it, dude. Oh, is Diego going? I can maybe look for a big ultimate. I can help with this? Never mind. My team's winning on the other side as well, so... You know, we can maybe get him here. Let's see how fast this moves. Oh, wow. It's not fast enough. Close, though. Nice inhibitate. Honestly, I don't really want to base until I finish my item. You're so dead. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> There's no way I can actually help you. Run down. I only have enough for like two more saplings. But they might run into this one. I'm going to wait for that Yasuo Windwall to start expiring and then now this this will come through and get them. Of course, I'm now out of mana, so I'm I'm done. But <laughs> I I wish you guys luck. I'm sorry, I don't have anything left. Here, run over here, man. Try to run towards this rush. That's your only chance of living, or like at least making it so I can do something. It lasts a while, so here I'll throw you another one too. There you go. Oh wait, it hit. Yeah, not bad. I think I one-shot these with just a sapling. Yeah, I one-shot backline. Nice. Okay, cool. Another item to buy. We'll go Shadow Flame. I think Shadow Flame into Prize and Focus, and then we're just full build. Plus, it's only four more minutes until another uh, stack of our Gathering Storm as well. Our saplings deal 900 damage. 
Oh my god. <laughs> and it's on a low cooldown too. We can spam the crap out of these. They last almost a minute now. Oh wait! I could totally... Yes, dude. Bait them. Bait them, bait them, please. No, you're gonna die before I even can get there. It's so tragic, man. I don't even know if I can get this guy. I, I doubt it. What are we going to be able to do to chase that guy down? Probably nothing. Yeah, but honestly, if you swap this Night Harvester for a Sunfire Cape, these will still hit for 800. The Sapling Pots. Because, once again, it scales off of HP as well, so... You can actually build full tank and they'll still hit super hard. You just won't have penetration from uh, going like this type of build. And like this has other instances of damage. Like the Night Harvester and stuff. Trying to bait these guys into the jungle is kind of hard. They might though. To be honest, running topside and showing myself might make them feel more safe. Oh, they broke them all. It's okay, we can replace them pretty easily. Such a low cooldown. Oh wait, this could be huge. Although his wind wall is going to block a lot of this. Let's kill that guy. I'm just going to jump away with the blast cone. Kind of scared. Oh, they might continue chasing, so this is when we're going to be DPSing with our... Keep them interested, but don't kill me. Throw this over the wall. Ferris is helping out. I'm just going to throw this way in the front. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be able to get her, though. I tried to use my W to uh, gap close to gain a little bit more distance so I can hit them a bit easier, but it didn't work out. Oh, my teammates are fighting again. Let's just sweep again. The, the reason for sweeper is to make it so they don't know where my stuff is. I'm just going to throw this out there. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. These damages, even on like the normal saplings, are so funny. I actually almost killed another person. Do we have our item? No, we're not even close. Holy crap. Far away. I don't even know if I can help with this. Here, dude. There you go. <laughs> I, they're scared. They're scared of the tiny sapling. <laughs> what sucks is this infernal dragon, too. Like, look, there should be a brush here. There's no brush because, yeah. My saplings last so long. Look, they're still up here, even though I left to go somewhere else. Oh, god damn it, dude. I'm just going to throw this down just in case they go for me. There's a chance they, like, Kaisa ulti on top of me. Nice Baron. We almost have another item here. And then we're full build. Except for that, I, I probably should uh, get like a death cap, sell my uh, Magi's. Or Void Staff. Just waiting. Oh, nice. It's 30 minutes as well, so we just got another Gathering Storm proc. Our ultimate deals 800 damage. Our sapling actually deals 1,000. We managed to make it to that point. Of course, it would easily deal 1,000 with anything else. My team is just winning the game. Stop. Please, no. Not like this, guys. Please. They're going to FF before I can even throw a single thing out.
I should be playing super ballsy to like get them interested in chasing me down. The thing that will uh, make it so they actually fall for these is seeing me low. I need to make it so I play super dumb, so then they think that I'm a free call. The only way to actually make this work. Uh, bye. See you later. Let's just ulti. I think the... No, I was gonna say I thought he won AFK, but he didn't. Jeez. Alright, well... About keeping them interested in us... <laughs> that, that was... This is not the fight that we need to take. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> They'll see me throw this in, but I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? Face check it? I doubt it. You're dead. I'm gonna die, yep. The one last auto attack as soon as I flash to get myself over to this spot. I finally ran out of mana. I've, I was spamming the entire time, but it finally caught up to me. Yeah, so saplings last a minute. Not bad, dude. We can theoretically have down 10 saplings because if it's 60 seconds and they last a minute, it's just 6 times 10. But I'm pretty sure you can get this number up to like 90. But we would need a Warmogs. The reason why my AP also fell is because I have uh, the Absolute Focus. So when I do get low or I'm dead, the Absolute Focus isn't proc. So when I respawn, my AP will go back up again a little bit. And I did lose the Magi Stacks as well. But uh, Death Cap is the next purchase, if anything. Or Void Staff. Uh, although they didn't really build any MR besides like on Volibear. So, I'm surprised this doesn't deal 1,000. It has a 75% AP ratio, too. Like, that's not that bad. This is a really good ultimate by me. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's gone, though. I snared him, so he should die. We can finally end the game. Decided that they're probably not going to be face checking any brushes anytime soon. There's, it's going to be pretty unreliable going for these players. I think the the Volibear Bear also is just on one of mine's here. Wow, my ultimate was on such low cooldown. I didn't expect that. Oh, see you later, dude. I'm just I'll just press W on her. Okay, never mind. She went invisible. So wait, wait, wait. Come back. So she'll probably go uh, through the... Let's just use ultimate here. <laughs> we killed her without sapling, by the way. <laughs> we just threw down W, Q, and ult and actually one-shot her. And she's not weak. She's full build. That's a full build player. Literally as strong as I am. But we still one-shot her. 700 damage Lilia. As soon as that black shield is gone... I'm going in. I'm out of here. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I'm not interested in fighting anymore. Oh, I am so dead, but I did manage to kill another person, though. Get him! Okay, sell this. Death cap is, well, 50 seconds. I don't know, what am I supposed to talk about? Um, alright, it's 50 seconds, isn't this BM? I mean, it's normals on PvE, some people are just here to have a good time. I mean, the enemy team could FF at any point, I don't think that anybody's like, quote, uh, hostaging, like, so. It's losable now, because, uh, items don't matter anymore. 
we're getting to the point that everybody's reaching full build. So like Lily is almost full build. Yasuo only needs one more item. Um, so. Losable game. No, we got Baron before I, li I respawned. So I don't get the buff. Wow, our AP has uh, increased pretty dramatically. 1,000, almost 200. One, almost 1,200 on our, uh, you know. But the thing is that I don't have, like, any pen. And Lily is now building Magic Resist as well. So lame, dude. If we get, um, this Elder Dragon, I might be able to kill somebody with a single sapling, but nobody's ever gonna leave it, though. Because I'll hit them with a sapling, my Night Harvester will proc, my Demonic Embrace will proc, and also, like, Horizon Focus will also increase the damage by 10%, plus my Dark Harvest. Like, all of these factors together with this Elder probably would kill, like, a Kaisa. But, okay, I haven't been throwing my saplings, I've just been speaking. Well, I guess we can showcase how good it is at chasing people down, no? Oh, wait, does this actually keep up to this guy? I don't know if I mentioned this, but when you hit somebody with a Maokai ultimate now, it gives you bonus movement speed towards that person. That didn't exist as well. Anyways, let's uh, just end the game. No Elder Dragon today. Very sad. Especially right after speaking about it as well. But... Dude, he actually is just AFK. You know, if he moved off of the platform, I'm sure that I could throw down enough saplings to one-shot somebody that just spawns. Like, this Kai'Sa might just insta-die. <laughs> Alright, well, GG. I was trying to type GG, but, like, something messed up, and then I pressed escape. Alright, well, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, Maokai commentary on uh, the new Maokai that they are mini-reworking. Just, they're trying to give him a bunch of um, quality of life. Whether it's good or not, I don't know, but as soon as I saw the AP ratio, I just had to try it out. So, 1,200 damage saplings inside of brushes. <laughs> um, You know, I... I don't know. Diego popped off, right? So yeah, thank you again for watching. Uh, did most damage, barely. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, be sure to give me a like on the video. And if you watch me often, feel free to subscribe. And if you uh, don't like my videos, then you can always unsubscribe later. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.